<coughs> Hello everybody. Now I will um <coughs> this lens uh, a um AF Nico uh, 50 millimeters 1 to 1.4 D. Uh, I will just show how to come into the aperture plates. There's nothing really, there's nothing really wrong, or you say there's really nothing wrong with this lens. Well, um, except uh, if miss something back here. It works perfect. Actually, a pin sharp lens with no oil on the blades. But um, I will just show how to come into the blades. It works like the same, like the uh, 50 millimeter, one to 1.8 D or non D, doesn't matter. Um, the things are put together the same way. So let's take a look inside. Um, we need some tools. This is a rubber thing from a walking stick uh, for handicapped people. Uh, it's really sticky. Uh, it's around 50 millimeters in diameter. And uh, I need to, to take it, um, take off the front plate or the name plate, some part. Um, and it's easy. Just press in and then <coughs> unscrew. <coughs> or screw in back in again. But we need some more tools. A, um, a crosshead, Japanese industry standard. Uh, this is a Phillips uh, screw head which I file or grind, uh, so it will fit perfect in the in the screws. And the uh, Phillips screwdriver is not good for working with lenses. Uh -uh. So um, <coughs> we need a tweezer. This is very pointy, and we need some. Uh, I like to work with dentist tool. Uh, those are an old brand called Zenit. I think you can still buy them on the uh, internet. Um, some of them I have uh, specially grind for some task like small springs. It's very pointy. Um, and this is a flat head uh, which is a good to, to lift up blades <clears throat> and it's a flat in the other end but a different angle. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead. So let's take off the nameplate. It, got, it uh, unscrews counterclockwise. So, um, but with this rubber tool, it's very easy. Just press gently and then unscrew. <clears throat> if there's oil on the blade, um, I would have taken it off with the uh, 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol um, because the blades are made of plastic, so it doesn't make any harm. Well, we have three screws here, one here, there, and there. Um, I just put a mark on so I know exactly where things sit before. So I make a scratch. <laughs> um, I could just make a small mark with a permanent marker here doesn't really matter. I mean, if it works for some, it maybe doesn't work for other. Well, the front group 
uh, just take out in one single piece by unscrew short small screws <coughs> So, <clears throat> that was actually part of it. The lens in this, the front lens in this uh, lens is maybe some little bit loose or I just keep a finger on um, so it will not come out. But this, then it's actually to just lift it out. Now you can see it. So we put it aside. Now we are inside the aperture system. I can unlock it and then move the blades very easy. <coughs> and there is no problem, they are snappy without any sticky problem. Um, in this lens, uh, I will make another scratch, <laughs> just so I'm very sure where the aperture sits before I take it apart. So I make a scratch here. It could be somewhere else, but I just make it here. And I make it on the plastic, just a gently one, no need for, make it too big, it should be, just be clear, so you're very sure where it sits before you disassemble it. If not, <clears throat> you you have no idea where the aperture sits correct well now we take out the we yeah we take out the spring so just see i could use my um, little tool dentist tool to lift it out uh, by just so very easy so <clears throat> and now we have a plate here that uh, holds the aperture ring here in place and then we have to lose all this we have to unscrew all the screws here And remember when when take out the plate this place this uh, round plate is I mean it will um, it will be loose so you could uh, the plate will also be be loose but let's see <clears throat> and then use a you could use a small screwdriver to just uh, break it free, take in one hole and lift it out like this. And use your tweezer to lift it out. So it is. Hmm. That was part of it. Um, we maybe need to uh, scratch this glue away because um, we have to take out the ring. See, that's part of the screw thread lock. Not really thread lock, it's just the, the, uh, the screw head. 
and we do the other. Oh. So, and now we just take out the, uh, I, I use a, um, uh, what do you call, not a straight tweezer, but a uh, anklet tweezer, I don't know the word for that, but uh, then you lift here, before you can, you set the aperture to 16. And then you lift out the whole system by taking here and then press and then it should be possible to take the whole system out. Now we have it. I see this is the, uh, the arm the press on the aperture plates. That's it. I will not do the cleaning because those plates are not a problem. But uh, I will just show how we put, take out the plate and then put them back again. Oh, they fall down. So, here we are. All the blades sit in the same way. And they can only sit in one way. So... So now we put them back again, <laughs> starting from one point, there should be any dust. See? And then it's just uh, straightforward on the rest of the plate. It doesn't matter what what plate sits where; it's all the same. It cannot sit that way. It can only sit that way. So we are almost there. You see, <clears throat> before I can put the last blade in, I have to um, move the first blade I put in like this. It will be held in place by the second blade I put in. So this one which is the last, I can just put on and I could use my tweezer but it's a lot easier to have a um, kind of dentist tool. So I just lift the blade a little 
and move the first blade in over the last one. So now we are almost back again. Just move them into position. <coughs> Use a tweezer to go around in circle and yeah. So now we are here again, and then it's time to put this back again, the little tap, the little pin or something has to sit down here. So use the tweezer and put it back in, oh here it is. There. See, we are almost there. Now we can actually move the blades, but don't put the spring on. We will wait for that to when we put the lens back in again. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes not. But I will put this uh, rubber thingy on the table and put this. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's a little too small. Okay, it actually works. <coughs> so, this pin here has to go into and catch this pin here. So, when moving the Sometimes it's difficult to catch, sometimes not. And sometimes it's easier to just take off the back, I mean, the bayonet. So it's easier to see where you actually are. Um, but I think we'll get a bigger rubber thingy because it will make it easier to get it back in the lens. <clears throat> this is a bigger one. See? It should make it more stable to put back in. So hopefully it will work. But then we will just have another go. Mm-hmm. 
Am I lucky or am I not lucky? Hmm. Okay, seems to work. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but I just have to move the the aperture system in correct place. Uh, yeah. And now put the plate back in again. And then push it all the way down. It's kind of a spring. So there it is. <clears throat> the only thing it will not fall out right now see uh, and then we just need a few drops of this uh, Loctite thread lock 222 it's the purple one which is the softest should just use a, use a little piece of paper <clears throat> and my screwdriver don't use too much because the the thread lock, if there's too much on the screw thread, uh, it will go down under and get stick on the blades. So this is better. <clears throat> And the last one. <clears throat> Just to be sure if the blade is working all the way open yeah that's good Ele 16 and 1.4 so everything is in correct order Now, then we uh, <clears throat> set the, the small spring back again. Sometimes it's not easy to, for those small spring. So one need to use two tools. Mm-hmm. Okay, then we just use one. We 
It can be a nightmare to <laughs> put those small springs in again. Come on. So we are on again. <clears throat> Very good. And that was actually that. So I can put my uh, front lens group back in again. And it will sit the same way when I took it out because I put a mark on that goes like the distance mark. So then put it in. So, that's it. And gently tighten it. So, then I have a working aperture again. If I would go the other way, I mean, from the back of the lens, I could uh, I could just take this off by unscrew here, <clears throat> if someone said no I can do not do it the, the other way, um, I will just show quickly. So, and then unscrew the three screws. <clears throat> it's nothing really special. There's only one thing you have to take care of, and it's the um, <clears throat> it's there is a brush. Um, kind of a bearing white metal uh, for the uh, focus gear <clears throat> so one have to be aware of that you can just press on the uh, on the screw thingy and lift out this is a used lens so it will would not be the same with the newer lens and then lift out so it was the bonnet see there's a small <coughs> kind of 
kind of um, brass or bronze. It's it works like a, a bearing. But uh, yeah, if you can see down here the um, connection from this aperture to the lower and uh, maybe it's easier maybe not this is I just show how to do it then put things back in And then the contact. So, then we are back again. It's not that hard to do, just uh, go gently ahead. So that was that. Bye bye.